Hey guys, TSL here back with a brand new video. In today's video, we will be starting a new series on how to make pets in Roblox. Now, these pets will have all kinds of multipliers to multiply whatever stats you want. So, stat gains, maybe coin gain. Also, in this series, let me quickly tell you what I'll be covering so you guys aren't like, oh, this is a crappy series since we didn't really make much of the pets in today's video. Because today's video is going to be the start. So anyways, in this series, we'll, I'll be covering how to make pets. So pets that follow you, uh, you'll be able to evolve your pets to get better stats. You'll be able to level up your pets, uh, hatch pets, and have a pet inventory. So yeah, that's all that's going to be covered in the series. Obviously not in one episode because that would be way too long. Now guys, one thing to mention, I will be making this object-oriented, which means that it is going to be mostly done in a module script which will allow for easy scaling. So basically, it will be really easy to add new pets. All right, so let's get into it. So in today's video, basically, we're just going to be covering the basic functions that we will need for the pets. And we'll see how far we get in the video without taking up too much time. Okay, so first thing we'll need is a leader stat script. I'm not gonna show that in the video, but we, we um, yeah, you'll need that for the stats that the pets will multiply. But after you got that, uh, just insert a module script into service storage and we'll start up. So we'll name this pet module and we can zoom in. All right, so here we'll do pet and pet. Okay, so the first thing is we're going to want to make, how about a function to, let's, just, let's start off with a hatching function let's say pet.hatch is equal to function function and in this what we'll take is how about an egg and yeah that that's all okay so real quick let's um let's just move on to some other stuff for now so after we'll hatch our pet some other things we'll need Let's say a pet colon, how about, we will need a level up. Pet colon level up is equal to function or function pet level up. Uh, we'll need a function for pet colon evolve and that's um that's it for now okay so what i want to do now is also make a um a weighted funk like a get weighted a get weighted item which basically means get items based on percent function uh so but this won't be attached to the player rather just in the pet hatch function so what we'll do is we'll say local get weighted items is equal to, or we'll just say local function get weighted items. We'll take in an item or to make this easier, we'll say get weighted pets and we'll take in a pet. Okay, so the next thing we'll do is set our total weight equal to zero for now. And then we want to loop through our, um, what we should actually do is loop through our egg. So we can change this to egg. So say for i, comma v in pairs and the egg. We're actually, we should make a new thing called, actually no, this, is, this will say weighted egg. Weighted egg so we'll loop through that so that's basically just going to be the list of all the things in our egg that we're hatching and um the, their percentage basically so we'll loop through that and we'll add to our total weight the amount that is in our weighted egg so v is the amount and to make this a little more intuitive we can just say underscore this means that we don't even need the index so we can just put it as an underscore Instead of V, we can make this say weight. That's so that you guys can just understand it a little bit better. 
Okay guys, so after that for loop, we'll need to do some more stuff, obviously. This is nowhere near gonna get us what we want. Okay, so next we'll do a local choice. So this will be a random number. So we'll do r colon random. So we'll do r colon next number. And we'll say zero to total weight. And up here we'll say local r is equal to a random dot new. So this next number function, I won't really explain it much, but um, you guys can just look it up by yourselves, but this is basically gonna get us our choice and we should have an equal sign here. Okay, so the next thing we need is a result variable, which is going to start off being nil, so we're not even gonna assign it, it'll be unassigned. Now we're going to loop through every item and their weight. Then we are going to subtract our choice from our weight. Check if our choice, if choice is greater than or less than zero, then we just want to return. Or if choice is less than or equal to zero, then we want to return at the end. But first we want to do result is equal to item. And then if not, and actually instead of return, I'm sorry, we should do a break. Then outside of this, we just say return result. Okay, so this function right here, this get weighted pets with the weighted egg, this function is basically just going to get us um, a random pet. Okay, so now let's make um, a, a weighted egg based off of the egg we got. So we'll say if our egg is equal to, let's say basic egg, and this should be double equals, then we'll say local weighted egg is equal to a new table. I uh, will say dog is equal to 33.33. We'll say cat or we'll do dog is equal to 34. Actually, I like dogs the best, so I'll make them the rarest. We'll say dog is equal to, how about 15? Say cat is equal to, say 45. So that right there gives us 60. So then we need to put like, let's say a frog equal to 40. And we gotta make sure to add a comma here. All right, so this is what our weighted egg will basically look like if our basic egg, or if our egg is basic egg. So you want to change all of these to the names of, you know, what's in your egg and then give them a percent, whatever percent you want. Okay, so now let's actually get the choice down here and we'll say local weighted egg up here and then we can remove the localness from that and we can minimize this function again. So now down here we'll say local choice is equal to get weighted pets with the weighted egg and then we'll just print the choice all right so what I want to do right now is how about we make a a little egg real quick it won't be an egg um, I'll probably change the model by next video or in next video for now I'm just gonna make it a box in this box I'll add an attachment and I'll have a proximity prompt. So this proximity prompt will hopefully show up. Let's just play here. All right, so you see we have this proximity prompt. Basically what we want it to do is when we click it, we're gonna make it so that we have to hold it a little but basically right now when we click it, we want to make it fire the function so we could get our pet. Okay, so what we're gonna do is first of all, make our hold duration, I'll make it about one second and exclusivity, yeah. You guys can read up on proximity prompts on your own, but basically name proximity prompt. Okay, we could change this to say, how about open open basic egg we'll say the object text is open egg 
or the action text is open egg and the object text will be nothing. And yeah, we'll leave the key bind as E. So now in server script service, insert a script. It will do local prompt service is equal to game colon get get service proximity prompt service. Okay guys, well I just looked it up real quick and the object text is what is above the action text. So our action text says open egg and our object text will say basic egg. All right, so here back into this script, what we'll do is prompt service dot prompt trigger ended or dot which one dot prompt button hold ended colon connect function and real quick we'll just say print triggered all right so now if I play here real quick to show you guys what we have now we have this button when we walk up to here it says basic egg and open egg and if we trigger it then it says triggered but the problem is it even triggers when we don't fully do it so let's try changing this to prompt prompt triggered And now you see it's not doing that. And if we hold, it still prints triggered. Okay, for a second I thought it was the other way around. That's why I did the other one first. All right, so basically now what we want to do is just fire that uh, module that we did before with the hatch function. So first we'll say we'll get our player and our prompt object. And we'll just print player comma prompt object dot we'll say object text object text text and I'll show you guys that okay object text is not a valid member of that ah so the problem here is in this it's actually the other way around so we have to do this instead. Yeah, it's a, li a little bit different than everything else. I'm a little used to remote events, which it's the other way around, obviously. All right, so now if I do this, it says Dombos37, which is my username, and then basic egg. So basically what I want to do is use this object text to fire whatever egg it is that we want to buy. But obviously, well, actually, we don't even have to remove the space because what we can do is go into our pet module and just do that okay so if you guys don't know how to use module scripts too well then what you do to import them into a different script is local module it could this could be called whatever you want obviously and then you have to e equal to require and then the path to the module script so do game dot server server storage dot pet module and then we'll say local chosen chosen we'll just do local pet is equal to module dot hatch and then we'll print pet printing pet will probably return us with nothing but yeah okay so Invalid argument number one to pairs table expected got nil. Okay, so let's take a look at what we got here. So if egg is okay, so we forgot to pass our parameter. Our egg should be equal to this. So let's just make that a variable. Say local egg is equal to that and we'll just pass in our egg. Now, if I do this, we got a cat. Let's keep doing it. And you see we got nail, so let me just remove that print. All 
Alright, so we opened it up. We got a cat. Let's do it again. We got another cat. Okay, this time we got a frog. Got another frog. Oh, and we got a dog. So you see all of these work. So that's nice. Okay guys, so there's one last thing I want to do in the video. So you know, we didn't make anything with these functions. These will come probably in a later video, probably after the inventory video. But anyways, um, what we want to do is this function make gives us a new pet, but our new pet actually won't be able to access these functions. For that, we'll need to use meta tables. So to do that, I'll show you how to do that. So the first thing you're going to want to do is set pet dot underscore underscore index index equal to pet. And then down here, what we'll do is have a local new pet equal to this. Down here, we'll return new pet. And then basically what we'll just add some stuff to this. So the first thing we'll say new pet dot name is equal to choice. So then we'll just have a few things. So, so, so we'll say if choice is equal to, let's say dog, then uh, we'll give it a new pet dot dot multi equal to say 1.75. We'll say else if choice is equal to cat, then we'll give it a new pet dot multi equal to 1.45. Let's just do 1.5. Actually, we'll do 1.4. And then we'll say else if choice, choice is equal to frog, then new pet dot multi is equal to 1.4. I'll make this one less because I didn't realize that this was the least, like the most common one. Okay, so there we have it. Uh, this should give us a multi in here, but like I was talking about, it still won't be able to access these functions because we still didn't do the meta table stuff. Uh, and actually real quick before we do that, I just want to add a few more things like pet.evo is equal to basic and new pet dot level is equal to one. Okay, so now let's finally do that uh, meta table thing I was talking about. So it's really simple. All you have to do is set meta table and pet comma new pet, or actually the other way around, new pet comma pet. So now let's do a quick demonstration with and without. So we'll say print evolve and print level up. So real quick, I'm going to just comment this out and go in here and we'll say pet dot or pet colon evolve. That's what we called it. Yep. So now if I, first of all, I want to save this Save this to your game or to a new game. All right, so now let me just play here. And if I walk up to here, it says attempt to call a nil value. All right, cool. So as you saw, that didn't work. But now if I come up here, uncomment that in our pet module, the set meta table, and I do this, you see we got our evolve printed. So basically setting the meta table basically just gave us access to all of these functions that we put onto the pet. Alright guys, well that is it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and if you guys did then please remember to leave a like and subscribe. Also turn on post notifications so you don't miss the next video of this series. Uh, this video or this series, the next video will probably be this upcoming Wednesday. So stay tuned for that and we'll continue this. Anyways, guys, see you in the next one. Bye.